Hey guys, Daniel Casinos here. I'm just trying to make an amphibious vehicle, attempt number two. Just drawing up a picture on the computer to show you what I want to do. Okay, so I've got a drawing on the on the computer here of what I'm going to make. It's going to have a boat with a quad front end and a quad back end. And a motor and gearbox somewhere up the front that just runs a drive shaft all the way from front to back. So it'll be four wheel drive and I can just have an outboard on the back. I might change this design though. And the wheels will just use the wishbone suspension to swing the wheels up out of the water when i'm on the water okay i got this four wheeler and this four wheeler so i might just cut the whole front of this four wheeler to use it for the back all right i got the stiff stripped down to what i want uh, I'm going to use this one for the back one because these rear wheels will fit on here and I'm going to have to turn the stiff head upside down so it'll work the other way around. Okay, so I've pulled the diff out. This is the front part that holds the diff. Turns out these two mounts are in line so I should just flip it over. Well, that was pretty simple. It just flipped straight over. There's the rear mount there. I just need to make a little bracket to hold this. Okay, made a mount for the back of this diff. Now I'm going to lengthen this A-arm. Okay, I've put uh, 300 mil extensions in all of these parts, top A arm and the, also the axle. And that's what it looks like on the other side. So now I'll just move it up and down and show you how much travel I get. So I measured it, worked it out. I've got about 500 mil of travel that it goes up and down, but I think that'll bind up the... Uh, CVs too much, so I might just restrict that to like 400, which should be enough to get it, get the wheels out of the water. And I need to find a way now of jacking this shock mount up 400 mil on both sides. Okay guys, have you ever heard of triple wishbone suspension? No you haven't, I just invented it. Check it out. So I'll have some sort of mechanism here which uh, lowers and raises this arm up after I brace it up a bit of course, obviously. So this here was gonna be the back end but it's not gonna work. I was actually gonna have those tires on here so it's gonna be even wider. But I have to have it that wide so I get enough travel to swing the wheels out of the way. And the wheels are going to stick out the sides. But the flow of the water comes past here and it'll hit the tyre and it'll slow down. It'll be too slow on the water. But this rear axle off the quad will actually fit within the sides. And if you look when you're planing the back of the boat, the water sort of comes along flat for a bit. So I don't even have to get the wheels too high. And I can use the universal joint at the front to raise and lower. It's going to mount this little, I guess you'd call it a transfer box, through the transom. I've got the three suspension set up on here now. Bolted through the transom here. I'm gonna make a moving shock mount later on. Goes through to the transfer case. Across to a lawnmower gearbox. I'm gonna have a pulley on here back to the centrifugal clutch. And this is a 13 horsepower motor. So let's see if it's gonna work. So just tested out the speed, seems a little bit fast, but I can always gear down the input shaft of the gearbox. I was dead set on making this thing full wheel drive, but this whole unit here is so heavy, probably heavier than the motor and the gearbox combined. And being able to lift the front up is a big benefit when you get stuck or something. So what I was thinking is I've got this motorbike frame here. Maybe I could use the front forks off this, and make it into a three wheeler. Thank you. 
right, I've just got this dodgied up for the meantime, just sort of tacked together. Front's almost at the right height already, even though this can swing down a little bit further. The back's a bit too low, but it's just a matter of changing the shock position. But I've got to make a swinging mount for the shock so it can raise and lower. I think this is going to work. I'll just show you it in the low position. Okay, so when in, in water mode, probably that's about the height I can have the front wheel. I mean, I can have it way up, but it only probably needs to be that high. Then the back wheels will basically sit flush with the bottom. Because... And I might put some little like trim tabby type things that go all the way to the tyre here. I've just made a steel brace here. We have 25 by 25 box section to hold the gearbox. And the gear lever is probably going to stay here because when driving on the land, this is probably where I'll sit. I can reach the gear stick here and I might have a big lever that just does left and right for the steering with the throttle on it. So I can reach the gears, reach that. I can move across, lean or whatever to get over obstacles. So most of the weight will be on the back when driving. Just put a couple of braces here and here to strengthen it all up. Change the shock out. It's actually snapped the spring. So I've got this one here, it's off a monoshock bike and it's got a much thicker spring on it. So they should be able to take the weight of a motor at the back, an outboard and me sitting at the back, plus probably a passenger. Guys, I've achieved something awesome. So I've just welded a pivot point to here, with a hole in it. So when I crank the winch, it raises up. Slams down pretty hard. I wonder if I can slow that down somehow. Maybe if I could put a bit of a brake on here, maybe. But look, I need to trim a bit out of here. As it came down, it just pushed the spring across. Lucky it didn't bend the shock, actually. You gotta be careful of that. I'll try and grind a piece out of here next for next time. Well, that works pretty good really, doesn't it? Needs a few refinements obviously, and it even works with my weight in there. Not too hard. I was going to use a drill on here, but I don't think a drill is going to have enough power. But I kind of like just the mechanical aspect of it, less to go wrong. Well guys, this project's going real well. I'm pretty excited about it. I need to put braces all on the inside and that, make it more rigid because it's pretty floppy at the moment. A lot of work to do. I'm enjoying it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.